No bold detailing. Honor and integrity. Call or text 585-993-1636. If your community is allowing trick-or-treat during the pandemic, Dr. Adam Keating with Cleveland Clinic Children says COVID-19 safety is frightfully important. It certainly makes sense to take precautions this year uh, in masking, in having social distancing, in using some hand hygiene, um, and um, making sure that um, we're not congregating so into large groups. As little ones go door to door, Dr. Keating says it's best to wait until they get home to dig into their goodies. It's a good idea for everyone to have good hand hygiene and wash their hands before and after eating candy for many reasons, including this. Um, I'd encourage kids not to eat their candy as they're going along. If you're handing out treats, be sure to wear a cloth mask and stay six feet away from trick-or-treaters. Individual treat bags in the driveway is a good way to go. And if you do choose to hand kids candy, be sure to sanitize your hands between groups. We'd rather not have large bowls of candy that kids are all reaching their hands into one after another. And honestly, if you think about Halloween of the past, when a kid would wipe his nose and reach into the big bowl of candy, that probably wasn't a great idea then either. We're just all paying a little better attention. Traditional Halloween safety still applies. Dr. Keating says kids should be supervised and visible. You have a light around with you so that you can be seen by others and you can see where you're going. If people are Kids are taking care to notice where traffic is. In addition, costumes should fit properly to avoid tripping, be reflective, and fire resistant. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.